once again guys, my name is the other guy, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Minecraft mod installation for Minecraft Forge, uh, version, some numbers and stuff, and also the Morph mod, which is for Minecraft 1.6.4 and 1.6.2, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I'm going to show you right now that I do not have it installed. So if I do the Windows key and R at the same time, I type in percent app data percent and then hit enter. Brings me to the roaming and uh, the directory will be like your name, app data, and then roaming. And then uh, double click on dot Minecraft and go into versions. And as you can see, I have Forge 9.11.0.883, but that is not the Forge that we are installing, so that's okay to have it already installed. So what you want to do is, I am going to install Forge and then the Morph mod, because that is really the only way you can install it. So I am going to go into my internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome, and I am at google.ca. And I'm going to search Minecraft Forge 9.11.1.945 because that is the version that uh, we are going to be installing today. Um, I chose this version because uh, there are certain Forge mods for 1.6.4 that require this Forge. Uh, all the 1.6 Forge works, but I recommend this one because this is the one that I've tested, and uh, the other one that I have in my versions doesn't work. So, now there's a website here. Uh, don't go to Forge.com because they have removed it. So, you, uh, you want to go to the website at the very top here, Minecraft Forge Downloads at in a seal web node, some of that. I think it's like Italian or something. Uh, some different kind of language that I do not speak. And if I scroll down, there's these promotions here. Do not click on the promotions. Go down to downloads. And then there's 1.6.4. Scroll down. It is in numerical order until you see 9, uh, 945. It's right here. 9.11.1.945. 1.6.4. Scroll over until there's the installer, click on it, and it will bring you to AdFly. Uh, stay on this page. Okay, I do not have cookies enabled, so I'm just going to reload it and then see if I can get it to work. Okay, reloading seems to work. I think I have my ad block on like pause. Okay, let's so, make some money. In this no, simple demonstration, I'm going to show you how I earned $593 okay. in uh, less than an hour. The system is easy to use. It's got just problem. three short steps, and it'll help you profit several. Yeah. Okay. I just realized that I didn't install it, but I have already downloaded it. So when it says that it can harm it, don't worry about that. It's not actually going to harm anything that I know of. And I've already downloaded it like five times, so hopefully it didn't uh, um, damage anything. So I'm just going to quickly download it, hit keep, and then I'm going to resume. So I will see you right away. Okay, guys, you're not going to notice any time difference, but it's been about like a minute or two. And uh, I now have it on my desktop. There's a one in brackets because I've already downloaded it before. And now what you want to do is double click on the jar. And uh, it will open up this mod system installer and make sure it says Forge 9.11.1.945 unless you have decided to install a different version of Forge. And then what you want to do is click on Client, not Server, or Extract because, uh, well, you're installing it to your Minecraft client and extracting it would just like, well, I think it would just extract it to your desktop or to your .minecraft. So make sure it's selected on Install Client and click OK. Now that is downloading the libraries and it is adding the version to your .minecraft. So now it is Install Client uh, Profile Forge, that version, and it grabs your libraries. Uh, don't worry if it said that it like grabbed a couple of libraries. Um, but if it says that it failed, 
then you may need to uh, try to like reinstall it and if it still doesn't work then you probably have a problem with your forge which I would not know how to fix so now I'm gonna hit OK and just the test to see that forge is installed I'm gonna do the windows keys in R percent app data percent go into Roman click on dot minecraft go into versions and now as you can see I have 9.11.1.945 so it is installed now the test that it's installed I'm gonna quickly run minecraft and uh, see that I can actually play using Forge. This is going to launch it, and in a second it will load up. Okay, there we go. Um, oh yeah, see, it pops up with this screen because now that you installed Forge, it'll want you to log back in. So if you're already logged in, this hit play. And if you're not, then just log in in the lower uh, section. And then it will automatically select you as Forge and then select you with that version of Forge. So then hit play. It'll probably have to do like a quick like ready to update and play thing. So it'll take a little bit longer. But uh, it may not. I can't exactly remember because I've already installed it once before. And uh, it probably remembers it in the launcher. So now uh, it says I'm playing Minecraft 1.6.4 instead of Minecraft uh, 7, instead of Minecraft 1.7 or whatever. I think there may be a new update. So now it says uh, FML Minecraft Forge 9.11.1.945. So it did install. So now uh, going on to the second part, we need to install more. So to install that, you want to hit Quick Game. Make sure you're not running anything Minecraft. You don't need this anymore, so I'll just get rid of that. And uh, what you need is to download the more beta 0.7.0.zip, which is for uh, 1.6. So to download that, you want to go into your web browser again and go to Minecraft More Mod 1.6. Uh, just do uh, Minecraft uh, Morph Mod and then hit uh, enter and it'll pop up 1.6.x more turn on to almost any mob at minecraft form go there and uh... or you could go straight to the iChuns blog which was right before it but i like going to minecraft form uh... i don't know just cause i like the minecraft form i guess and um, so when you scroll down there is uh... Acquire most living mobs by killing them a morph. This includes players, so you can also morph into players when you kill players, silverfish, uh, and then from other mods too. So uh, you can also use the abilities, but um, I'll probably tell you more about it in the mod review. But for example, creepers, I haven't been able to figure out how to blow up even if you can. So it's a little bit interesting. But uh, it says, or download 0.3.0, .0, but as you saw, I have the 0 0.7, uh, because this is like the very first version. So you want to go to iChun's blog, and then it'll bring you to the iChun's blog. I could probably go full screen, but I don't really need to. And then there will be a, a download uh, tab here. Click on that, and it will bring right at the very top here for Minecraft 1.6. 0 0.7. Click on that and it will bring you to add fly once again. And in your five second add, ooh, acting classes, I could take those. Huh. <laughs> Adds. Skip add. And then it will automatically start to download it. I've already downloaded it a couple times. So it just says the three in brackets there. And then, really, after you install Forge, it is so easy to install after you download it. So you just have it in a folder and whatever, and literally all you have to do once you install Forge is Windows key R, percent app data percent, enter, go to dot Minecraft, and then there'll be a mods folder that is usually created when Forge is installed. If not, just do a new folder and call it mods like this. Open the mods folder, and all you have to do is drag the mod 
in this case morph beta, right into the mount folder, and it is installed. That is all you have to do. So it is extremely simple to install mods once Forge is installed. And to test that it actually worked, I'm going to quickly run Minecraft again and see instead of saying it has three mods uh, loaded, if it says like four mods loaded, and, go, and if we go into the mods tab and it says that it's installed, then it worked. I would demonstrate the mod, but I want to save that for a mod review, so I'm just going to check to see if it installed, and then I'm going to end the video there, and then I'm probably going to be making a mod review. So, oh yeah, see, there is another update, Minecraft uh, 1.7.5. I just realized that. Okay. So, once Minecraft loads, um, right about now, it'll be Minecraft 1.6.4. And I think it's frozen. No! Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've already been playing a little bit of Morph with uh, the other broski. And uh, so now it says four mods loaded. Go to mods. And as you can see, the Morph Mod 0 0.7 is installed. Uh, it, I hope that you uh, enjoyed this tutorial for this installation. I hope it wasn't too complicated. I don't think it was. Uh, if, if this helped you, please leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, and I will probably see you in my next video, which hopefully will be a mod review. Yeah, I guess that's all. Peace.